Who's the widow baby? Oh, who's the widow baby? Who's the widow baby? Yes, he is, widow little baby. You know, when I was little, I used to pretend you weren't my mother. Me too. If you wake this child, I will climb inside you with my shoes on. No, I've been up here the whole time, having some phone sex. Does internet porn know you're cheating on it? You think it's the mustache? It's not helping. Well, neither are you, To so... reiterate, I am paralyzed! Well, join a support group! For who? Crippled gay hillbilly spies? I... You know... Maybe you can shut your dick holster. Shut your schnitzel hole and disarm it. Oh, I get it. The German guy, Mr. Scar, must be the bad guy. Ham, the word disaster implies it's something that actually matters. It matters to me! Well, but you don't. <gasps> For shit's sake, mother! How short is the list of guys you haven't screwed? <gasps> How dare you! This again? Don't you want a grandkid? Well, if I did, I'd just scrape all your previous mishaps into a big pile and knit a onesie for it. Jesus Christ! Has anybody even thought about throwing her a goddamn baby shower? Ew. You mean a bastard shower? Cyril, shut your pout hole. Except the fact that Lana was so far out of your league that impregnating her would have basically been interspecies breeding. And get on with your life. No, don't. You're so ugly when you cry. <gasps> Mr. Archer. I'm fine. Is she in or out eating a baby? Lana. <laughs> I thought I heard self-righteous clomping. Can I help you? Well, it's just that for the third year running, you give me a potato. Oh, dear. So once again, you're faced with the classic Irishman's dilemma. Do I eat the potato now or let it ferment so I can drink it later? Help me, God. If you throw that computer on the floor again, you'll wake up in a mental ward with total amnesia under someone else's name. Oh my God, did you hear that? What do you think it is? Immigrants! That's how they do, you know? Just drive around listening to raps and shooting all the jobs. Jesus! <laughs> it's just like my birthday party all over again. <laughs> Remember? No! <laughs> yeah, because you weren't invited. Thanks, Jungle. Eat a buffet of dicks. Oh my God! What shade is that? Crack hole red? Asimov's three laws of rep... Look, never mind, they don't even apply to Barry because he's a frickin' cyborg. Archer, come out and play! Huh, and also a gaping prolapsed anus. Oh, Pam's as full of crap as she is of carbohydrates. Beep, beep, oh, beep. Oh, you're giving me the truck <laughs> noise? Karen Carpenter's stunt double? I'm sorry, I thought you were walking backwards. Guess you had that coming. Oh, put another man's penis in it. Look, the man's an ass bucket. Please, if you really cared, you'd resign. But there's no way you ever will, because you're just counting the days until her face bloated and yellow from liver failure, she calls you to her deathbed and, in a croaky whisper, explains that Mr. Archer is totally incompetent and that you, the long-suffering Lana Kane, are the only one qualified to rent his place and you weep shameful tears because you know this terrible place is the only true love you will ever know. Excuse me. Friday night was Cornhole League, then on Saturday... If I cared about what you do on the weekend, I'd stick a shotgun in my mouth and pull the trigger with my toes. 